welcome, 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 welcome. A cup of pit I am. A cup of pit quarters already. And I don't know why that cat is even with that cat. What do we got? The Knight of Pents. It doesn't even belong in this deck. Looking at your big brown eyes. All right. So, welcome, 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 welcome. We're going to the Taurus, okay? Hi, Kai. What are you doing? You just sitting there with mama? You just sitting there with mommy? Okay. So, I know I explained to you guys it's going to be a little different. Um, let's do Venus first. What are you doing? What are you doing? Mom's got to work. Mom's got to work. Mom's got to work, Kai. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, big boy. Go find something to do. Go find something to do. So, I'm going to tell you what your Venus is, is what's going on with Venus, okay? Um, Taurus, yeah, so, raw love. Bye, guys. Um, <laughs> what you doing, Papa? not eat my stones. How about you not eat my stones? Alright, what are we looking at? You, mister. Come see mama. Come see mama. How about you not eat mommy? How about you not eat your mama? How about you not eat your mama? How about you not eat your mama? I love you though. I love you so much. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's find out what's going on with your Venus. Which goes retro. I believe early, early October. But a lot of people are already feeling it. Okay. Um, so we got passion. Staying optimistic. Past life relationship. We have deception, so passion. Staying optimistic, past life relationship. Deception, this is me. This is always, um, this is me. This is me. Um, to me, this is always self-deception, okay? And then we have true love, okay? So, to me, it looks like you guys are lying to yourself when it comes to how you feel about a particular person. Um, I mean, there's a lot of love there, okay? This is like a, a one-in-a-lifetime type of love, and it, it's saying it's safe for you to love, okay? With separation here, this is telling me you guys are not together, okay? Um, or there's a little distance between the two of you right now. Um, so this is, this is the type of love that's really deep, okay, so it makes someone nervous, okay, um, to me, I feel like this, you know, if past life relationship comes up, I mean, it's, it's karma, guys, it's still connection, okay, it, we've known each other before type thing, you know, like, so it might feel really familiar, really comfortable, um, I, I guess what it's saying, I guess what the universe is saying for advice when it comes to this is, you know, the passion's there. So they really want you to stay optimistic. Stop lying to yourself. I don't know what it is you're telling yourself, okay? Or it's this person that's lying to themselves on how they feel about you. Um, and, and it's true love and you feel it. But I also feel like you're a little hesitant because you feel like, hold on, it's hot. It's hot. Um, I feel like you're a little hesitant because, mm, I feel like you're just a little scared to love. That's all. Okay. Um, so with that being said, you know, just go with the flow. The universe is saying, listen, like to me, when it's safe for you to love, that's the universe saying, listen, it's, it's safe. It's safe to love. It's safe to love. Okay. Um, so let's pull, let's pull on your new moon. Let's, what do we want to do for new moon? Um, new moon energy. What do I want to do for new moon energy? 
Do I do my norm? Do I do my norm? Nah, I'm gonna do these. I'm like, nah. I don't know why I'm gonna do these because they match my other ones. And it's a love reading. All right, so we got the magician in the nine of cups. So here's the deal. Ow, Kai, Ugh, Papa. Um, this person makes you happy. It, it's like a wish fulfillment, okay? And with the magician, this is something that you're more than capable of of handling, okay? Um, more than capable of, of making this work. Okay, listen to me. I don't think you're going to be able to sit on my shoulder. I don't have that type of shirt on, Papa. Oh, come on. So, you content now? You are happy? Are you a happy Kai? So, let's find out what's going on with this this new moon. Well, you guys, what type of energy you guys are looking at with this new moon? To me, I, I, I feel your nerves, okay? We got the seven of pence. So to me, right off the bat, it's like, I'm going to do this for you guys. Okay. So right off the bat, you're looking at, you know, your investment. Um, and you're tired. Okay. All right, Kai. You can't sit with mommy right now, baby. I love you. I love you so much as well. And then we have the queen of cups. So like I said, you're, this is an emotional situation for you. Um, you're trying to figure out. You're trying to figure out what direction to go in. I gotta take this guy. Sorry, hold on. Okay, I'm back. So you're now looking at the investment you you spent in this, and you're tired. <laughs> you are super super tired. Okay. Um, yeah, there's feelings here. Okay, but I can even tell by looking at her, you're a little apprehensive. Okay, about approaching this this whole thing like this whole idea of staying optimistic you're like Ugh, you know so you got the page of wands and with the page of wands here this is about you know taking action um moving forward okay um you have the king of swords so their sword is down okay um With the Page of Wands that were being reversed, this is nobody taking action right now. But the, with this King of Swords sitting here, this is either you wanting to have a conversation or this person wanting to have a conversation. And I love in, in certain decks where the sword is down because it's not hostile. It's, it's, it's real life. It's reality. Okay, you might not like what you are going to hear, but it's real life. Okay. Um, with the world here. Okay. what it, it is time to wrap this situation up. Okay, I don't know if you're dealing with an Aquarian. It's the only gentleman right now I have on my board, besides the Page of the Wands, but this is talking about taking action. So this could very well be an Aquarian or Libra, Gemini, any any air sign, okay? But this is this is a world. This is it's it's time to wrap this up, whether you guys let it go or you move forward. But to me, this is saying wrap up the old shiznit and move forward. Okay, that's it. Um tell me about this page of wands. Um, and I can say that because the best advice for Venus was, you know, it is safe. Yeah, it's a, it's a past love. Yeah, it's deep love. You know, you want to stay optimistic. The passion is there. Okay. Um, there's no question. I think that's what's possibly keeping it alive along with the true love. These are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cards, but I'm telling you right now, this mom is tired. Um, yeah, see? I clarified the page of wands. She's not putting effort into it no more when it comes to this king of swords. She's tired, all right? She's she's healed, and she actually has a sword in the air, all right? She's she's now like, I'm not dealing with bullshit. I'm putting no effort into this. I'm wrapping it up, okay? I will tell you with everything that was going retro and this is about to go retro and it has to do with Venus and I am going to tell you Taurus and Libras are going to get hit hard, okay? So, you're going to have to learn to, to work through this period. I'm going to tell you, this is actually late September. Somebody sent me a link. A friend of mine sent me a link. Let me check for you. Um... I'm going to tell you it's going to be tough, you know, for Taurus and Libras because 
you know, we rule Venus. And it's in Scorpio, and it's a fixed sign, okay? So that's even tougher. So it's early October into November. So I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to be a, a tough transition for my Tauruses, okay? Because I think the only thing you got for you right now, going for you, that, that's great, is the fact that this is deep, passionate love. This is this is a once-in-a-lifetime love, okay? So you know what this feels like. But I also believe you've already put a lot of time and energy. The cards are telling me you've already put a lot of time and energy into this situation. And you're not taking no bullshit from nobody. To me, you wrap this up. Well, it's time to complete this in order to move forward. Even if this person comes back around, okay? Because this is not a new offer. So if this person even comes back around in Venus, not to mention, it's it's majority of the time past lovers that try to come back around, okay? Um, righting wrongs, right type thing. But to me, uh, tell me about this world. Uh, to me, I think it's already a wrap for you, okay? But I'm telling you right now with, with this, what I see, you know? So, yeah, see? It is time to end what this is and start new whether it's with this person or not. Look at the passion in this card. Look at the four of wands. Look at the stability in this card. Look at him greeting her like, hi, okay? And you guys are both little, all right? This is renew, renewing love, okay? Um, the four of wands talks about stability too, okay? So uh, I wish you the bestest. I wish you the bestest when it comes to this. It's it's going to be tough, okay? But this this love is deep. So I'm not I'm not too worried about you, okay? Yeah, with the 8 of swords and the knight of and the knight of cups here reverse, this is this is somebody coming in and offered but feeling trapped, okay? Not being able to open up. And whoever this gentleman was was definitely going through you know, the dark night of the soul type thing and not to mention now they're following destiny. Okay. Um, but they were both reversed, which to me, which is, which is great because this person, believe it or not, is coming out of feeling the worry, the entrapment. This is mental anyway. Okay. Um, I, I do want to clarify that night because the night needs to be turned upside down, which I believe is going to anyway. Yeah. Look at this. See the two of cups. Look at the, oh, wow. How beautiful is that? All right. Because this four of wands is upright coming right at you. This is a beautiful read, okay? Um, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Alrighty then. So, um, the bottom of the deck is five of wands coming out, and it was reversed, so coming out of conflict. So this person's going to come back around. So let's get to um, the next two weeks with these cards. I'm going to use the sexual tarot. So... See what what it is you're working with right now. It's a beautiful connection um, my Taurus has had with somebody. It looks like you're gonna have a new start. It looks like you're gonna wrap up all the past in order to have a new start. And and it is starting from the beginning. It is stepping stones. You know the everything that they're showing me coming afterwards. They look like pages. Okay, so it, it's it's starting brand new. All right, so next two weeks, wild love, please, Taurus. So this, this, this is like this outlook right here with the new moon and the Venus. This is gonna go until all of September, early in the, uh, October for you. I mean, this Venus is is until November too. I know I don't go that far out for you guys, but this is what you're looking at, okay? For November, um, September, October. Let's just say September, October, okay? So this is what you're going to be dealing with. So do your best to, to get out of conflict. I'm going to tell you right now because Libra Libra and Taurus is going to have a, a, a tough time. With all these cards coming out, if you approach this the right way and it's done the right way in the synergy between the two of you, this is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And I'm excited because I'm Taurus and I'm Scorp. <laughs> okay, so they're both fixed signs. So, you know, wish me the best. Holy shit. But if this happens to me, I'm happy. I'm a happy little crackerjack, okay? 
um, just approach it. I don't know. You don't know what to do. And you know, my my raw loves weekly will will stay on top of this for you, okay? Maybe every couple weeks, why Venus is in Taurus, I'll throw some cards for you guys, all the zodiacs. You know what I mean? So let's look at the next two weeks because this doesn't look harsh to me, you know, for for some. So what is this? It's the chariot. But the thing about this chariot and this deck, this is the two of you. The two of you got that passion, okay? There, there's no question. Um, but you, the two of you, still don't know what direction to go in, okay? Um, but this is about moving forward. It's the chariot. We're looking at next two weeks. Next two weeks. Look at this. We got justice. Okay, this is something. This is balancing out the scales <clears throat> in order to move forward. And this woman is looking like, can I do this? Can I balance out these scales? Because remember, this woman had already put a lot of time, energy, effort into whatever situation ship this was. Okay, regardless of this love, it looks to me she's already wrapped it up. Okay, and now. It looks like a new start, okay? So it looks like this woman is deciding whether or not the scales can be balanced, okay? Whether or not, you know, we can get the yin and the yang back in the relationship. And we got the tower. So you're dealing with somebody who's jealous, okay? Or you're dealing with somebody who thinks you might be sleeping with somebody. Or you might be dating somebody. You might have a boyfriend and this is the path coming at you. But I will tell you, this particular person is jealous, okay? Um, and that's a lot of passion, too, okay? This card, to me, with this tower, and this is a sudden shift of change, but to me, in this deck, this tower, this is jealousy. But the passion that this person has for you is deep, and this is what makes this person jealous. But I'm going to tell you... Depending on how old you are, situationships you've been in before, don't put yourself back into this. If this is you, you're setting yourself up for failure. If this is the other person, I hope there's been enough growth because, tell me about this tower, because that, that's not good, okay? Because it's just, it's not. With this type of love with the world, okay, this is the end of it, okay? This is the end of the jealousy. This is the end of the bickering. This is the end of the bullshit. It's time to wrap it up, Okay. So this person coming at you or you is not going to be this person anymore. Not like that. This What it's telling me, this person has changed. This person is going to nurture you. And if you look at these two cards, it, it does the man is, you know, catering to the mom, catering to the woman, okay? Like as if, not like begging or anything, you know, like that. Just the attention's there, okay? The, the time is there. It looks like the effort is there. And I'm not talking one being pleased before the other. I'm talking about genuine effort, okay? So, let's see what else you're looking at. And you got the nine of wands, okay? This is talking about the past, this particular card. This is, you know, and, and the gentleman's going into the past. So, can you get past the past? Can you leave the past behind you and move forward? Because it's time to have this conversation. And look at the way the two of the, these beautiful cards that you guys have right now is gorgeous, okay? The, the way the two of them are communicating right now, the passion, the fire, the desire, it's not all about that. But I will tell you with all these cards you have, this is a beautiful, beautiful situation, okay? Um, just because this goes until September, October, and this whole September with the new moon, this could have already been taking place. This could have already affected you, okay? Because I know what me, new moon, full moons, I, I feel they affect a couple weeks beforehand. This is a lot of compassion too, okay? But this is something that's going to play out for a while. This this is the current. All this is current, okay? Because I'm pulling it. So it can change. But to me, this is current. Um, and we know how that works and how court does her readings, okay? So... This is the hermit coming out of hermit mode, okay? So 
it to me it looks like somebody's dating somebody or this other person is really stressed out okay or this other person that you like a lot is seeing somebody this is something okay but to me I don't see any situationship like that I think this is just in somebody's head but also wishing somebody the best the song every little thing is gonna be all right okay don't worry about a thing because every little thing is gonna be all right so but I mean of course somebody could be dating somebody but to me this is the end of this the jealousy okay I don't know if the passion is going to draw this person in. I, I don't know how it's going to work. It is Venus, guys, okay? When you have that much desire for somebody, I don't know how this hasn't happened already, to be honest with you. There has to be a lot of regret. There has to be something that has to do with the past that they're not showing me, okay? Um, you might have to wait for the full moon, too, because I'm looking at two full moons right here. Or this, or all this kicks in around the full moon. Or this woman released, I don't know, it, however it plays out for you, okay? Um, but this person, if they were secluded, then they're, they're not no more. All right, and you got the Knight of Chalices. This is somebody who's thinking about you from a distance, but in a very beautiful way. This person actually looks at you like marriage material, okay? Even though it's the Page of Swords, it, it, I mean, the Page of Sal Chalices, okay? This is, this is a new feeling, but this feeling that they have, they're looking at you they're looking at you as my marriage material and there's a cat in this picture okay and to me it's like a tricky cat but it's not it's like the cat's waving and it was like i'm done with the tricks okay which makes sense with the towel here i think this is saying we're, we're going to be done with the towel moments okay we're going to wrap this shit up and move forward all right this person's got love for you and this is a messenger okay so this person that was in hermit mode all right in seclusion soul searching is now stepping forward we got the Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Okay, this is something going in somebody's direction with the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so I, I still really truly believe somebody's sleeping with somebody. Or somebody thinks somebody's sleeping with somebody. But you guys will figure it out, okay? You guys will figure it out. So let's pull you a lesson card and wrap this up. Because I, I have a reading. Let's find out what your lesson is in this situation ship you got going on but it, it's a beautiful read guys it truly is and this is this is all happening okay so patience um this is very divine if this person comes in it's still saying patience it's not saying or if you're waiting on this person or vice versa and you you know have patience but to me that the overall message the lesson is having patience in this situation ship because of whatever happened in the past, because I'm telling you, this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful love, bond, connection that you share with somebody. And the song that's on right now is Over the Rainbow, okay? Um, and at the bottom of the deck, we have health, okay? So to me, this is this is somebody stressing out right now, okay? Whether it's you or this other person. Kai, you just got Kiwi. You just got Kiwi on my cards, Papa. All right, so let's pull you a... Um, one oracle. You want fulfillment? Go after that. Okay. Hi. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Confidence. All right. And understanding. So the universe is asking you right now. Okay. To to have confidence, whether whether you have it or not. It, it, it's when this person comes in, okay? This is, and, it, and it's 42, 43. You're moving, hey, Kai. Thank you. You're moving, you're stepping forward, okay? There is a, such a mortal being that's kept in the oracle that's safe in the, safe in the sky. And it's given to you at the right time. Now is the time. Take your time. The world needs much of you. They're going to be asked, they're going to ask you to go through life challenges, okay? And ask you to receive my gifts. Know that I... I, Nix, have chosen you and everything that you have. You have everything to make the right decision right now. Walk with your head held high for the next steps to move forward with confidence. I am with you every step of the way. All right, so basically what it's saying is, like I said, when I split the deck earlier with the magician, okay, 
you're more than capable of doing this. All right. Just don't let the fear overtake you is what this is saying with the confidence to me. Okay. And understanding it is one thing to read something and hear something, but it's another thing to truly understand something. You're being asked to keep an open mind and heart and allow yourself to absorb the information as it comes in and you receive it. Be open to the wisdom that only you, that time and patience and perspective can have. Try to Try to get outside yourself and imagine what it's like to walk in somebody else's shoes. To understand is to have the power. The universe is asking you to understand and, and think about what it's like for this for this other person. Okay, so obviously you don't know the whole situation. Obviously this was a shit show. Um, this whoever this person is that's coming back around. All right, but the universe is, is saying, listen, you're more than capable of understanding, and 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 certainly don't forget who you are, and and have the confidence. And and they both speak of patience. Have patience on yourself. Have patience with this person. With patience comes compassion too, okay? I don't think that's going to be that big of an issue. With these beautiful, beautiful cards that I have on my board, I, I don't see that being an issue, okay? I really just, I, I don't. This is a beautiful read, okay? Um, you are probably dealing with somebody who is jealous, somebody who you haven't talked to that, were, that was exclusive. I will tell you right now, this mama is very... um very tired and is not dealing with any bullshit and is not pursuing this person so it looks like you know if it's same sex it's the other feminine coming in if it's not the same sex I, I will tell you it looks like it's the masculine that needs to approach the fem the feminine um but i'm telling you it's 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 beautiful what this can be and, and actually what this is this this type of bonds especially with this passion and, and the universe literally saying, like, listen, like, this is a gift. You might not think this is a gift because it was a shit show, but this is a gift from the universe. This is for the two of you. It is a past life relationship. Somebody's been lying about how they feel about somebody for a long time. And then you have true love, and, and it's safe for you to love, okay? To me, this is, that that kind of love don't come around. That 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 card don't ever come out like that, okay? That, that card is not taken lightly. Um, we have the nine of cups and the tower. This is sudden change with something that makes you happy. All right, but we knew that this is deception. Tell me about this deception. This is self-deception. Whether this is whether somebody cheated, lied, stole, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, I mean, obviously it matters, but it doesn't matter like that. Like it's this is this is over. This is the wrap. This is this is the seven of cups. This is this is the karma card. Okay, this person, this is telling me this has changed. Look, there's growth. There's a rainbow. There's a rainbow in the sky. We just heard that song. Um, with justice this is yeah balancing out the scales okay this is somebody who was lying to themselves or had lots of options at the time and were only thinking about themselves but now wants to come in and, and balance out the scales okay regardless um with the seven of cups this being a journey being a comic card this is change this is growth this is somebody going in a new direction whether it's you or the other person regardless these cards are absolutely beautiful it talks about a beautiful, beautiful bond, and again, it, it's very divine, okay, um, so, I love you guys, okay, have a great day.